start something, a match off like that if you're Logan Egan to get your team up on the right opportunity. Absolutely. We talk about wrestling as an individual sport, but these guys can all feed off their teammates. It's a team sport built on individual matches. And if you're a young team like Duke, to get a win like that against a, a, a good young pit team to start the duel is really uh, fantastic. 133 now, Raymond Adams gets the assignment for Duke. And Santaniello scores right away off an underhook throw by. Santaniello out of New Jersey, a former uh, state champion, uh, comes to, to pit a really talented freshman. And their head coach, Coach Gavin Keith, telling us that he's maybe wrestled the toughest schedule of anybody on this pit roster and that's saying something considering the pedigree of the schedule that the Panthers have had as a group this season. Absolutely and we, we talked to coach Gavin and he talked about the purpose of building that tough schedule that tough dual schedule given the the format of the year and trying to get these guys battle tested as we head towards March. Santaniello with a right leg ride here in a bar looks like he's looking for a bar half And this is a dangerous position if you're Raymond Adams. Santiniello can jump to either side and, and, and run a half or run the bar here. Looks like he's gonna try and run the half. You can hear Coach Lanham talking about knowing where Adams is on the mat here. He's right on the edge. This is a place where experienced guys are gonna look to get a restart. Very close to the restart. And there it is. Blown dead, and that's that's a good thing for Raymond Adams there. Get a fresh start, get out of the half, get out of the bar there, and see if you can put something together to get back to your feet. There's Glenn Lanham, the Duke head coach. 12th year man, Coach Lanham, most successful coach in Duke wrestling history. Let's go back to Adams for a moment for Duke. One of the things that his head coach told us this year or earlier this week about his season is you know, he's just got to believe in himself. And that seemed to be the message from Coach Lanham about all of his wrestlers heading into tonight. Absolutely. Um, you're, in, you're in Division I wrestling. A, a coach and a staff has pointed you out as somebody who, who belongs at this level. And it's obviously challenging to transition from high school into college, but, but growing that confidence as well as trusting in the technique that you're being shown in the room uh, to get away from some of those bad habits to, to build towards becoming a better athlete. Yeah, to your point, Coach Lanham said earlier this year, specifically about Adams at 133, if you take a bad shot in high school, it's still a bad shot in college. A bad shot's a bad shot. Absolutely, and you pay for it more in college. And one thing he really noted, Adams is a guy who likes to go to these different funk positions, leg passes, likes to roll under, and, uh, and Coach Lanham really talked about getting him away from some of that or bailing to that position too early because you can really pay. Final 15 seconds of this first period. Looks like we had a stall call on Adams, who's, again, Santiniello really working this bar half position. And Santaniello will take the three-point lead into the second period here after Duke picks up their early points on the fall from Logan Agan Logan to get things started at 125. Santaniello with the 3-0 advantage, and he will choose the bottom here. Looks like Adams deferred his choice. We'll see if he can get anything going on top. How much is Santaniello looking for that escape point here to start the second period? I imagine he's looking to get out immediately, uh, put the pressure back on Adams, knowing you just put a hard ride on somebody for about two minutes, and he hits a, a quick inside switch to get right back to top. And that's uh, that's demoralizing if you're, you're Raymond Adams back stuck on bottom again under a talented guy like Santaniello. And he's right back to that right leg ride, and he keeps changing off from a traditional leg ride to more of a reverse leg, now looking for a for a cross face here to bring him over and hip him over. Santaniello last year did not compete while rehabbing from an injury, but has had a, a nice start to the season, 12 and 10 for the Panthers so far this year. He had a really nice start. He was the, the runner up at the Clarion Open to start the year, and it looks like he cuts Adams there. Lost in the finals to high school phenom Bo Bassett, but during the tournament had actually had a huge win over Ohio State high-level recruit Nick Bazakis. What does that do to 
face a schedule like this, we talked about it in the first period for Santaniello, just the grueling schedule that he has faced this year. As you get into league action, what does that do for your confidence knowing that you've been there before as a wrestler? You know you're going to see those guys in the postseason. The best 33 guys in the country are going to be at nationals, and that's really the grind of the, the mental grind of getting through there, understanding what it takes to get there, and at least getting a feel for some of those high-level guys is really important. This is something that both key, uh, both Coach Gavin and Coach Lanham had talked about and getting their guys battle-tested and getting that feel for what it's like to be uh, there late in the season. Uh, Santaniello comes from a pretty good wrestling pedigree as well, so I'm sure he uh, had an idea of what to expect growing up. Yeah, no, no, uh, no easy matches in Jersey either. When you're the Jersey State champion, you're, you're going to come into college battle tested. That's a state with one state champion and, uh, and a lot of tough dudes. His dad, Vinny, was a three-time high school medalist in New Jersey and actually owns a youth wrestling club there. And another score for Santaniello yep. there. Seems to be pouring it on in this period. Final three seconds here of this second stanza. And Santaniello opening up the big lead after two periods. And it looks like Adams is going to go back under. I wonder if Santaniello is going to, going to cut him away here. And it looks like he will as he tries to, to build towards more bonus points here. Approaching four minutes of riding time here. That's a lot of riding time after, sure is, sure after five minutes. Adams getting a collar. Nice shuck by attempt by Santaniello. Just seems like it's a really solid effort all the way around by Santaniello tonight. Absolutely. He's put attacks together on both sides of the body. He's really done a nice job in this short offense position. Oh, and a, and a pancake right to the back. Throws him over. Adams is in big trouble here. Santaniello maybe trying to get that pin, trying to get a tech fall. Keeping that bottom arm. Adams is trying to scoot that bottom arm out, and he is out, and that's going to be the tech yep. fall. Impressive performance by Vinny Santaniello to get hit back on the board with five points. Look here. He's got the right underhook. He's getting Adams chasing the other way and then pulls that arm out, topples him over like a table and puts him right to his back. Impressive work from Vinny Santaniello with a hand right there. Another impressive matchup, Cole Matthews at 141 here for Pitt against Christian.